Hello, my name is John Levine. I am a reporter at the New York Post, and on Sunday I attended a rally in New York City for Hamas. It's hard to believe that I just said that, but it is actually true. And it was organized in part by the Democratic Socialists of America. And while I was at this rally, I saw a lot of very curious people, hundreds of people in fact, dressed up as Hamas fighters and, and various other terrorist or Islamic Jihad garb. And it was very disturbing. A number of them were chanting death to Israel or, or, or we want it all or various other chants. And these are things that I heard and, and, and other people heard. You know, this is not like a normal protest where we all just go home afterwards. These people are on the subway with us. These people are in the movie theaters with us. These people are at the airport with us. We have an FBI which is currently monitoring your uncle's Trumpy Facebook posts and I just hope that perhaps some of those resources could be diverted to some of the people we saw yesterday at this rally. One of the most notable facets of this rally was that it was organized by the Democratic Socialists of America, which is a pretty powerful political force in this country. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Representative Jamal Bowman, both from New York, are members of the Democratic Socialists of America. A number of city council members and state lawmakers are members of the Democratic Socialists of America. Many of those individuals have said nothing and have refused to denounce uh, the rally which took place. It's a big question now whether elected officials who have been endorsed by the Democratic Socialists of America are going to continue to accept that endorsement, whether this event, this Hamas rally in Times Square, will reverberate onto their careers going forward, and only time will tell.